5 seconds to go start even one of the circumstances in which the production of additional evidence under order 41 rule 27 cpc by the appellate court is to be considered is whether or not the appellate court requires the additional evidence so as to enable it to pronounce judgment or for any other substantial cause of like nature as observed and held by this court the admissibility of additional evidence does not depend upon the relevancy to the issue on hand or on the fact whether the applicant had an opportunity for reducing such evidence at an earlier stage or not but it depends upon whether or not the appellate court requires the evidence so to be adduced to enable it to pronounce judgment or for any other substantial cause it is further observed that the true test therefore is whether the appellate court is able to pronounce judgment on the materials before it without taking into consideration the additional evidence sought to be adduced it could at once be noticed that in terms of rule 33 of order 41 cpc the appellate court is empowered to pass any decree and to make any order which ought to have been passed or made and which may be considered requisite in a case while the said rule 33 prescribes general powers of the court of appeal the specific powers of remand are prescribed in rules 23 and 23a of order 41 cpc hence for the purpose of the case at hand reference to a forced rule 33 remains in apposite having said so we may proceed to examine if the order of remand in the present case could be justified with reference to the other referred provisions of order 41 cpc one of the striking features of the impugned judgment dated 28th june 2019 is that even while dealing with a regular first appeal against the judgment and decree of the trial court the high court has not even adverted to the findings of the trial court pertaining to the present case and has not specified as to how the findings recorded by the trial court were unsustainable or unjustified as noticed in the impugned judgment the high court has narrated a few circumstances leaning in favor of the plaintiff in paragraph 21 and then a few other circumstances which favor the genuineness of the sale in question in paragraph 22 and thereafter has observed that the evidence necessary for a proper determination of the suit had not been brought on record and that the evidence on record was insufficient to arrive at a proper finding in favor or against the sale deed in question the high court would further observe that material witnesses have not been examined and no evidence has been brought in with regard to passing of consideration with respect what turns on the observations in the impugned judgment is that the high court was unable to arrive at a conclusion on the basis of the material on record however 
fact of the matter remains that on the basis of the same material on record the trial court had indeed arrived at a definite conclusion that the plaintiff had failed to establish her case and hence the suit was liable to be dismissed as indicated herein above the high court has not at all referred to the findings of the trial court and it is difficult to find from the judgment impugned as to why at all those findings of the trial court were not to be sustained or the decree was required to be reversed after having taken note of the salient features of the impugned judgment as also the significant omissions therein if we refer to the provisions empowering the appellate court to make an order of remand it is difficult to find any justification for remand by the high court in the present case stop